probably watching this video because you have gotten something on your acrylic painting and you're trying to figure out how to remove the dirt without damaging it. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. This is the very easiest method. And if you watch until the end of the video, I'm gonna give you an extra bonus tip of how to clean dust off acrylic paintings very easily as well. I got something on my painting that looks kind of like tree sap. I think it was from being at an outdoor art show and having this painting hanging on the wall of my art fair booth. To spot clean an acrylic painting, the first thing you need is a bowl of water. This is a reverse osmosis water that I have at my house, but you could also use distilled water. The idea is to not have a bunch of other things like chlorine or other chemicals in there and some Q-tips. Dip the Q-tip in the water and you'll wanna just make sure that it's not really wet, but is a little bit damp. And then what I like to do is, you see there, this area here is what I'm trying to clean. Well, this same pink is over on this side, so I wanna rub on this a little bit, just lightly, and see if any of the pink comes off. Um, because if you don't have varnish on your piece, it, your paint could come off if you scrub really hard. And so I'm just kinda seeing how far I can scrub, and then you can kinda see on here there is no paint coming off. If you spot test what you're going to clean prior to cleaning it on the painting, then you can see the density of the layer of paint film that's on there. That's what they call the top layer of the paint after it has dried, it's called the paint film. And if the paint film is really strong, you can scrub harder with the Q-tip than you can if the paint film is really weak. So what I'm gonna do is now start to try to very lightly see if I can get this to come off and it is starting to remove. The trick here is to rub very lightly and then start looking at the Q-tip. And no pink is coming off, just that brown sap stuff, whatever it was. So that's good. Now, what you can do is if you start to get a lot of water built up, like you can see here, um, you can go and just try to get some of the water up with the dry side of the Q-tip. And now look at the Q-tip and we'll check it again. Okay, no pink is coming off still. And so we can keep going a little further. And you wanna go really lightly and delicately with this procedure. And again, dry it off and see if there's pink coming up. I have a spot down here that's deeper in. So I'm having to clean it a little bit more. It's also important to note that if your painting is varnished, you can scrub on it a lot harder than you saw me do on this piece. But since this piece was unvarnished, I had to be extra careful. One other thing to keep in mind is that if you notice that you have dirt on your painting, you should clean it off as soon as possible. Because if it's left on there for longer periods of time, the dirt, whatever it is, has a chance to adhere into the top layer of the paint film, and then it will be much harder to get the dirt off of there without removing the paint. The last bonus tip for cleaning your acrylic paintings is how to clean them if they're just dusty, and it's a general layer of dust. What I love to do is use a Swiffer. I use a brand new Swiffer, one that's not really dirty because you could you know, if it was really dirty, put some of the dirt back on there from something else. Also, there could be things on there that would scratch it, but when it comes right out of the package, it's very soft. This will not hurt your acrylic painting. I have used Swiffers on my paintings for years with no negative effects. If you wanna use the Swiffer, you just gently go over the top of everything. Up here, you'll often get dust on the top of pieces, so it's good to do, and I just go really gently with small strokes and it doesn't hurt the piece at all. Whether it's varnished or not, you can use a Swiffer. So hopefully this video helps you. If you would like to watch more videos about painting, check out my channel. See you next time.